Welcome to this short lecture on backwards design for instructional designers. I'm your instructor, Kristen Espinar. So backwards design for me is actually pretty intuitive. I've been an instructor and course creator for over 13 years, so it's pretty natural for me to begin thinking about course creation by first identifying objectives. Newer instructors might first be tempted to develop dive into lessons or the content, but the first thing that you really need to do is identify the key outcomes of the course or what you want your students to know or be able to do by the end of the course. So the first step is to create learning objectives. You will need to identify what it is that you want your learners to be able to do by the end of the course. Now, keep in mind that each of the main objectives may have sub-objectives that you will need to consider. For example, I am currently creating an IELTS speaking course for speakers of English as a second language. One of my first major objectives is that students will be able to respond to IELTS speaking tasks. Now, this has additional sub-objectives. Inside of this task, students will have to be able to demonstrate comprehensible pronunciation features. They will, be, they will need to be able to demonstrate that they are able to organize their responses. They will need to be able to demonstrate that they are able to use academic vocabulary. And they will need to be able to demonstrate that they are able to use a range in complex and simple tenses. After you've identified your learning objectives, you will then need to create assessments to test those objectives. Assessments are used to ensure that students have learned the goals of the course and are able to perform them. After you create the assessments, it's a good idea to review and ensure that each objective is being assessed. So you can think about this cycle. First, you need to identify objectives, Next, you need to design assessment, and then you will need to ensure that your objectives are being assessed. Finally, after you've ensured that your identified objectives are measurable, you can create learning activities or instructional lessons to help students learn the key course objectives. It's important to engage students with dynamic activities that provide clear context, and remember to keep them focused on the course objectives. Don't stray into other topics. Okay, I hope this was helpful in aiding you create your first digital course.